All right, another project video with the L1 Chevy Blazer Extreme. It's back in the garage. Let's see what the mileage is now. 142.894. I got uh, multiple repair videos on YouTube of this vehicle. Working on replacing the hub assemblies, hub front bearings. This side I already have complete. So this is the old bearing off the passenger side. It's a whole hub and bearing together, one unit. So you got the, I'm not gonna be able to show you the play, but it's got quite a bit of play in it. And here's the new one. I'll show you where I got it from. Hopefully the camera will focus in on that, but it's a uh, Dearborn axle, right out of Detroit, Michigan here. First local parts I've actually ever bought, but Here's a new one. It's very well machined. Comes with the ABS sensor already attached to it. Very, very identical. The only difference I found between these two is the dust cover that comes with the factory one. This hole is bigger, so the dust cover fits in. And with this aftermarket one here, it, it just won't fit in there. So um, I gotta find something to put in place here to keep the dust and debris out of there. But that's the only major difference between the two units. Um, less than half the price of the big three auto parts store, under $50 per hub from this uh, Dearborn axle. But it's a fairly simple job. Unbolt your brake caliper, unbroke the uh, brake caliper bracket, and then back in here you have three 18 millimeter bolts that hold on the hub to the spindle. Same thing with the brake caliper and bracket bolts. They're both 18 millimeter. And then uh, just unclip your ABS line from the upper A arm right there. Back in here, where it plugs in. So unplug that. Simple. push that back through and uh, not too bad of a job. That's really what the completed side looks like. Complete with the new hub on it. Repainted everything in there. Caliper and all that stuff is all repainted. But um, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all torn apart.